Hello everyone, back tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the JMA for the next three months for today's second video. This is going to take us from uh, next month, from May, and we go through to July. So we sort of cover the uh, early summer period, if you like, uh, up to the middle of the summer uh, with this update. Um, now, the JMA model will be placed uh, within the Season 1 Roundup for the summer of 2018. We're going to do it week going up the second uh, summer 2018 Season 1 Roundup coming up to you probably on Saturday morning. Um, and the JMA will make up part of that. We'll get something like 10, 11 models together, see what they're all showing for the summer. The, this JMA update will make up part of that, even though it doesn't extend to the full summer period. It does cover enough of the summer now to be placed within that second uh, season of Roundup for the summer of 2018. But you can get a lot of information from this model and we, because we've got all of those other models to look at in the season of Roundup we won't have time sort of uh, going depth with the um, JMA. So we always like to take this one out and look at it in its own terms. That's what we're going to do for uh, this afternoon's second video. Uh, so just say that uh, the first video today has a look at where well, next week, 10 days, and also CFSB2 for next month. Um, it's here on the homepage, just scroll, down, scroll, just scroll down the page a little bit, and you'll find it above the snow desk. And to say the snow desk will be uh, leaving the homepage very shortly. It'll be replaced by the pollen count probably on the first day of May. So uh, have a look at that when you're done with this video. But now we're going to have a look at Gen A for the next three months. So we're going to start off with the 500 millibar height anomaly flow charts. Uh, from the North Pole view down. So this is the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, just there. This is the middle latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere uh, around there. America and Canada uh, are over here. Let's get rid of all of that. So America and Canada are over there. Uh, we've got uh, sort of Russia over here. Asia is down there. And the British Isles, Europe is in that area. Just very between. That's the Atlantic Ocean. So uh, yellow, orange and red extrapolating to high pressure. Blue to low pressure. And this is what the uh, JMA is showing for May's 500 millibar height anomaly. So you have this area of below average heights, which is low pressure, centred over and to the northern British Isles, above average heights, down in the uh, middle part of the Atlantic. And we'd be bringing the flow through rather like that. So it looks pretty unsettled, that, for May. Quite a cool and quite an unsettled month to start us off. I think we're placed on the cool side of the jet stream and we're close to an area of low pressure. Most unsettled in the north, but all places probably having quite an unsettled and cool month to start us off. Then we go through to June and signs of a bit of a change in June. We get some above average heights building to the southwest of the British Charles with below average heights up to the north. That would send the jet stream uh, further north. So we're on to the warm side of the jet stream there in June. And with that ridge building down to the south, we could possibly start to bring up some sort of southerly influences. So that could be quite warm into uh, June. Still a little bit mixed, and especially so up in the north. But I think it's certainly a drier and a warmer signal uh, in June compared to uh, May. And then we go through to July, and this is what uh, we see in July. So it's rather strange looking chart. We've got uh, above average heights, resource high essentially centred in the middle of the Atlantic. And we've also got some above average heights uh, to the north and northeast of the country. Otherwise, there's not much else to go on. But it looks like pressure is uh, quite weak around here. So whether that would be a, a, a trough within the 500 millibar flow, it doesn't really show that. Um, but I think the position of the ridge, generally to the north, uh, whether it's the northwest or the northeast of British Isles, probably implied the jet stream uh, would be doing something rather like, again, it, rather like this. Again, it's a very strange bizarre looking chart, but I think there is probably some sort of anomalous trough within the 500 millibar flow close to the British Isles, and so therefore probably quite an unsettled month in uh, July, although not classically unsettled because we are ridging in the, we are seeing ridging in the Atlantic a little bit, so it's not a classic westerly 
unsettled month. Maybe sort of east northeasterlies uh, and a trough of low pressure centres somewhere close to the North Sea. But it is a very strange uh, looking chart, that one. So let's have a look at the uh, mid latitude view in terms of the temperature and precipitation uh, anomalies. We're coming back to May uh, again. Of course, if everything's working correctly, this is only the f one month away, so this should be the most reliable part of the update. As we get through to June, confidence falls, and then as we go through to July, confidence is uh, becoming quite low because that's f uh, three months uh, away. So a reminder of 500 bit of our height anomaly flow chart for uh, May. We're up, we're up here in the top right hand corner of the chart. As you're looking at it, by the way, that's North America uh, just there. We've got Europe and Russia uh, around there. And then Asia is uh, down in that sort of area. So uh, again, just a reminder of the uh, 500 bit of our uh, high tonight. We've got low pressure for May, generally over and to the north of Richards, with some ridging in the middle part of the Atlantic. And look like we're probably almost on the cool side of the jet. So quite an unsettling cool month was anticipated. The precipitation uh, anomaly for uh, May is coming out above average for the north. But actually for the south, it's not too bad. It is uh, more on the drier side for the south. So the most unsettled weather is implied to be in the northern part of the country. And the driest conditions would be down in the south. Temperatures do look cool though. Uh, so on the cool side of the jet stream most definitely with temperature anomalies coming out below average uh, in May and that would round off very strange spring because uh, March was cold and average. April is going to be significantly warmer than average and then uh, May, this is right, is going to come out colder than average again. The uh, mean wind uh, direction depicted by these black arrows which are always very difficult to make out is generally coming from a west northwesterly uh, direction in that uh, doing something like that so uh, again it implies you're putting down quite chilly air quite cold air uh, or cool air from the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean uh, during May then we go through to June and quite a uh, change takes place as we get this ridge of above average heights building uh, to our south, which should be starting to send the jet stream uh, up to the north. Precipitation anomalies still coming out a little bit wet for the far north of Scotland, but most parts of the country are going drier than average uh, in June. And what about the temperature anomaly? Any signs of that uh, recovering? And yes, there are. So the temperature anomaly is going a little bit above average there through most parts of the country. So clearly from May to June, there is an improvement in the weather. It turns drier even in the north, and also it turns warmer to average. So uh, whereas May is coming out colder or cooler than average, June is coming out through pretty much most parts of the country with above average uh, temperatures. The mean wind direction looks like it's coming up from a southerly to southwesterly direction. Again, these black arrows are always very difficult to make out on this chart. Uh, it would be quite useful if they could put in fewer arrows but make them bigger. But uh, anyway, I'll show you where the mean wind direction comes from. It's coming up somewhere like that. And so that's the reason that the temperatures are quite obviously lifting up as we go through into June. The jet stream is also going to the north. North, the jet stream would be in that sort of position just there. So the far northwest of Scotland still getting influence from the jet stream, still unsettled, but for most places it's a drier and warmer month and start to the summer. And then we go through to July and we have this very strange looking chart in July with high pressure uh, centre just there. Uh, and then very weak pressure around here, but not a trough, not low pressure. Uh, and also up here, quite weak pressure uh, just there. So hard to know quite what to make of that, but it is more unsettled. So the precipitation anomaly is going above average, again, particularly for northern parts of the country, but I think all places looking at uh, more rainfall anyway compared to average uh, in comparison to what we have in June. The temperature anomaly, that seems to be holding up though, so still holding up around or above average with the temperature. It's only a little bit above average, so it's not a really warm month, but a little bit above average with temperatures for uh, June and July, but certainly more unsettled in July 
compared to June. And our mean wing direction, uh, depicted by the black arrows, generally coming from a west to slightly northwest direction. So, and then when, again, we go through uh, there uh, like that. And also signs that the jet stream is coming southwards. I think the jet stream is starting to move down uh, through the country. So after that relatively nice start to the summer in June, uh, we start to get a deterioration appearing in July. Uh, and of course, that's in line with what our analogues are consistently showing at the moment. So uh, a little bit of backup there from the JMA for what our analogues have been showing uh, with our summer an analogues update so far, which has always been kind of like June would be the best uh, chance, on a guarantee, but the best chance of getting some warmer and drier weather. And then the deterioration begins in July. We can't see what's happening in August with the JMA because it doesn't stretch out that far. But the analogues suggest by the time we get through to August, we are in a very unsettled weather pattern indeed. So we can't say that the JMA is going in that direction. But we can say that from June to July, there is a little bit of a deterioration. But remember, July is three months away. It's the most unreliable part of the update. Uh, and therefore... Confidence is very low. For May, it looks like we're in for quite a poor month, really, uh, with uh, wetter than average conditions for the north and cool temperatures being uh, depicted, being forecast as well uh, for May. And then June, we get that nice month. And then July, signs that things are going a little bit wrong. Does that lead us into a cool, wet end to the summer? We won't know that until the JMA updates next month. So that's your uh, free month you'll have with the JMA. Uh, of course, I say this video will be, um, or this update, I should say, from the JMA, will form part of the seasonal model round up for the summer of 2018 uh, that we're going to do on Saturday, I think it'll be Saturday morning. Um, so uh, we'll see whether any other models are sort of backing this idea up uh, when we do uh, that uh, second season one roundup for summer 2018 at the weekend. Right, don't forget to check out today's first video if you haven't yet done so. There's a lot of unsettled weather on the way. And uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.